We'll go again. Sorry, I'll, I'll get it this time. I just need a second. Well, we need to get this take down. You don't you think I know that? All right, all right. Come on, look. Let's just get it done one more time, eh? Yeah, no, I'm go I've got it this time. I'm, I'm all right. The fuck he does? Will you just shut up? Well, nobody else had this much trouble. Not even Gaz. Huh? Look, you're not helping, so just keep quiet, yeah? All right, come on. Let's do it one more time, Tommy. Yeah, no, I I'm going to get it this time. I'll be all right this time. I was <clears throat> Sorry, sorry guys, just a couple of seconds. For fuck's sake. You nearly had it that time, mate. He's never gonna get it. It was okay before in rehearsal. Well, a fat lot of good that's gonna do him now. Look, he's gonna get it, okay? No, he's not, because he's a prick and he's wasting all our fucking time. What did he say? Nothing, he didn't say anything, alright? Come on. Let's just do it one more time, yeah? No, no, no. What did you say? Shit. I said you're never gonna get it because you're a prick. For God's sake. Just stop dicking around and sing the fucking lyrics. It's not hard. We wrote them down for you. Please, just stop it. Yeah, well, screw you, Sal. I had to listen to you practically wanking yourself off for two hours yesterday. Well, that wasn't wanking. It was the instrumental. It was wanking, mate. Why do we even need the instrumental? We're not some proggy 70s shite. We're supposed to be gritty, balls to the wall, rock. We need an instrumental, Tommy, because we need to get at least one track down this week. So we thought, hey, let's cut out the fucking Axl Rose wannabe prick and get down to it. Don't listen to him, Tommy. Axl Rose. Axel fucking Rose. Yeah, Axel fucking Rose. I'm just waiting for the day you stop wearing pants on stage and start walking around with a fucking bandana. I am nothing like Axl Rose. Right, it only took him 15 years to finish his fucking album, didn't it? Do you know what? Fuck you, Sal. You can all suck it. Cheers for that, Sal. Nice one. Yeah, no problem, mate. Do we have to put up with this every fucking day? You made Gaz cry yesterday. I didn't cry. I'm just so sick of this bullshit. Right, that's a break. Assholes. Did you hear that? Be careful with that thing. Did you hear what he said? You have to be such a dick. He's the dick and you know it. Guys, did you hear what he said? Who? What he said, Kurt. He called us arsehole. Do you have to push his fucking buttons? Yeah, I'm sick of him dicking around so much. I mean... Why call us arseholes? It's just stress. We're all stressed. Shouldn't we say something? Piss off, Gaz. I'm just sick of it, is all. Well, go tell him then. There's no point talking to him while he's in this mood. Why is Kurt always such a dick to us? I'll just leave it, mate. But he called us arseholes. It doesn't matter. If he wants to call us arseholes, he can call us arseholes. Stop being such a pussy. But he works for us. Don't be so naive. We need that guy more than he needs us. I mean, look at all this stuff. Any idea what any of it does? No. Of course not. Look at all this shit. What's that? What the hell's that for? I mean, we need that guy. I have absolutely no idea how to set up all that crap for my guitar. Really? I've got to call him. I just use presets on the old stuff. Now I say more reverb. This guy does a thing and I get more reverb. Maybe he should be our guitarist. Funny. Fuck you. I mean, do you know how to mic up your kit? No. Exactly. So don't piss him off. If that guy wants to call us arseholes, he can call us arseholes. Still. He's not answering, I'm gonna text him. It's Cal. What's up, babe? Can't believe I gotta put up with this shit. I honestly thought it'd all change when we got signed, you know. Well, what are you gonna do? I just gotta do them both. I wonder where he ran off to. He gives a shit, he's probably lost somewhere. Yeah, this building is huge. I wonder why they shoved us down here. I saw the studios upstairs. They're awesome. I mean, what the fuck does he expect? I'm not gonna run around after him like I'm his fucking babysitter or something. You stop listening to me again. I mean, I'm just getting sick of it. Yeah, you stop listening. Just exactly like it was when we started in the garage. You're so lucky you went there for that. Bobby's coming. Oh, shit. But Tommy's not back yet. Oh, shit. And we didn't get any of the vocals done. Gas, mate, jump on the drum kit. We're going to make it look like we're laying down your track, OK? Just do something, yeah? Bobby's coming. Yeah, I know, all right? Just don't say a word about Tommy.
How's my favourite new band doing? Hi, Mr. Roberts. Mike, I've told you. Call me Bobby. We're friends, you and me. My name is Matt. And more importantly, we're business partners. Bobby, what's the CD for? Where's Tommy? Tommy? Um, bathroom, it'll just be a sec. Ah, great. Well, I was kind of hoping he'd be here when I got here, but when you gotta go, you gotta go, am I right? <laughs> of course I am. <laughs> so, what was it you wanted to talk to us about? Well, guys, um, me and the boys, we've been doing some research, okay? Scouting out the industry, seeing what's hot right now, what's making it into the charts and all that. And basically, guys, it's not you. Oh. Okay. Now, of course, it was you when we signed you, yeah? The whole grungy thing was getting a bit of a comeback. Sadly, that didn't last. Now, don't get me wrong, yeah? I love you guys. Yeah, your music's great. But we were thinking, maybe it's time for a little tweaking to your sound. What, what do you mean, tweaking? Well, I got some of the tech guys to play around with that EP you guys sent in, yeah? Get it a bit more sellable, yeah? Get it into the charts, yeah? Keith, chuck the CD on, yeah? Right, guys, listen to this, and remember, keep your minds open, yeah? So, what do you think? It's different. It's great. Yeah, it's modern. Different? It's shit, Bobby. It's cool. The kids will love it, yeah? They love all that synth stuff. Look at Touch Em All. Those boys are huge at the moment. Can't do that to our music, Bobby. And it's Touche Amore? This is for the good of the band. Yeah, but it's our music. It doesn't sound anything like us. Listen, guys, this is the future of music, okay? All the big bands are doing it at the moment. Who? Who is doing this? You know, the Block Party group and, um, oh, what are they called? Uh, Biffy Summer and The Muse, yeah? People can't get enough of it. Bobby, mate, it's just, it's not our style. Yeah, I, I couldn't even tell it was us playing. Guys, you've got to change with the times, yeah? Move forward, evolve. Yeah, we're all for evolving, Bobby, but just not like that. Listen, don't forget, guys, I'm the boss. What I say goes, okay? I haven't heard anything from this album yet. In fact, I'm beginning to doubt whether you guys have even done anything at all. Look, Bobby, just give us some more time, mate. I've been pretty lenient with time so far. I'm going out on a limb for you guys. I don't have any of this with them. They knock them out practically weekly. Yeah, but they suck, Bobby. They make money. Look, Bobby, it just takes time to build up the momentum. We've got a pretty solid fan base. I mean, they're itching to buy the album. It'll sell. Have you guys even kept up with your fans at all lately? Been on your Twitter page, huh? We have a Twitter page. It's 2010. Everybody has a Twitter page. Yeah, but if we didn't know we had a Twitter page, who the hell is going to write on it? Some intern downstairs. Really? Yes, really. And your fans aren't as loyal as you seem to think. What do you mean? Awesome Possum 86 says, and I quote, These guys are such sellouts. I preferred them when they were making music in their basement. Well... Yeah, of course you're going to get a couple of fans who, you know, hate the band when they join a label. It's expected. And we're technically still in the basement, just the building's bigger. That's not the only one. Drunk with Power 89 says, Fuck these guys. They can suck on my unkempt sweaty ball sack. Sellouts. Well, that's a bit much. It goes on. Vagina Clops says, These guys are such crap now, I'm going to boycott their new... Right, your fans are abandoning you, so you better do something about it. Bobby, you just gotta give us some more time, mate. It's gonna be good, I promise. It better be good, or there'll be consequences. Consequences? Like what? 
Haven't you guys even read your contracts? No, not really. Good. Don't worry about it. Oh, Bobby, this is such bullshit. You put us in this piece of crap studio with a producer who hates us and start playing around with our sound. There is nothing wrong with this room. Are you serious? Look at the window. Why is it vertical? And all this equipment. A bad workman blames his tools. Yeah, but this 8-bit crap is taking the piss. Listen, like I said, when we signed you, the market was a different environment, okay? Yes, you were supposed to be in the bigger studios upstairs, but, you know, we, we thought this suited your style more. Okay? Besides, Touche Amore are using three of the studios upstairs at the moment. Why do they need three studios? Right, they need three because they want three, yeah? When you start making some fucking money, then we'll start talking about you guys getting a different room. Until then, this is your Abbey Road. So stop bitching and make me a fucking album. Shit, the hell's this? What? Bobby? I don't care if we're you're against prostitution. If he says he wants you to find him an Asian hooker, you find him an Asian hooker. Guys, wh what are we gonna do? That is not racist. Not bad. Listen, I feel like you're not listening to a word I'm saying. I'm sick of putting up with your crap, Dennis. Okay? You fired. The fuck do I care? Send him to a public school. Just get out. I'll take care of the hookers. Oh, and do me a favour, yeah? Tell everybody else you see on the way out of the building, they're fired too, yeah? I'm cleaning fucking house. I'm pissed off now, guys. I was in a good mood when I came in, and now I'm pissed. Look, Bobby, mate, we'll sort it. We just... Do you think I like busting balls, hmm? Well, no, of course not, but you know... Because I don't, yeah? I'm 28 and my blood pressure's through the bloody roof. I'm coming back tomorrow. And you guys had better have something good for me to listen to. We will, we promise we'll have something. Yeah, you will. Fuck you, Keith. Well, that went great. What are we gonna do? Well, I'm reading my contract for a start. Look. We just have to get this album moving. I mean, we know it's gonna sell. We just have to tighten it up a bit. Maybe we should just try some of the stuff Bobby said. What stuff? Write a single for the charts. Wow. Oh, don't get like that. Come on. You heard what he said. It's gotta sell. Jesus Christ. We are so screwed. It's Tommy. Yeah, what's he saying then? He'll come back when you apologise. What? Well, I assume he meant you. The language he used was a bit more colourful. Oh, he's taking the piss, right? Maybe you should just apologise so we can get back to the album? Come on, man, just take the bullet. Alright. I want you two to know that I won't mean a fucking word of it. Ah, of course. Bullshit. Hey, man. Yeah, I just wanted to say, uh, uh to say, um... Oh, just say it. I just wanted to say I'm sorry that you got so pissed off, you know, and uh, I didn't mean most of what I said. Yeah, yeah, you're nothing like Axl Rose. Yeah, he's a prick. All right, I'll see you soon. Sorry. Oh, thank God. Were you outside the whole time? Well, yeah, I was on my way when you called me. Right, um, well, it's great that you're back, right? Um, let's just get back to work and get this track sorted, yeah? Come on, let's get this moving. I'm gonna get home at some point today. Right, come on, Tommy, let's give it another go, mate. Oh, thank God we got him back. Hi, guys, look, um, I know things have been tough around here, what with Bobby on our arse and all that, but... Um... Yeah, I thought it'd be tougher to get him back. You remember that gig in Manchester we got booed off stage and he jumped in front of the van? <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Should have knew he'd be a pain after that one. What gig was that? But I've worked so hard to get us where we are now. And I do still feel like I can really take us a distance. Well, it's before you join, mate. We still mm. have that traitorous prick Sammy drumming for us. Oh, that guy was a prick. Isn't he with Touche Amore now? Oh, don't get me started on those hipster pricks. Who wants a band made up of only synth? Look, hey, they're a huge hit. And they're with this label. And I knew from the first gig that we ever played that I was destined to make it, and now we're here, so... Oh, please just stop talking about it. It bums me out how stupid people are. They actually pay money for that crap. Yeah, 
suppose. And despite all the crap I've had to put up with over the years from you guys, I'm back and I'm good to go. That's great, Tommy, yeah. Just give it a go then. I'll bet you a chip. I was born! Oh, God! What did I say? <clears throat> guys, sorry guys, I'm gonna need a little bit more water. It's alright, take your time, Tommy. Let's just give it another go. Actually, I'm gonna have to fill that up. I'm gonna have to fill this up, guys. I'm gonna fill up. Look, fuck the water and stop stalling! Oh, not even the first line. I need to keep my throat lubricated. Do you want me to strain my voice? If I strain my voice, I can't hit the notes. You'd have to actually sing to strain your voice, and with the amount of crap you've been sucking, I thought things would be pretty well lubricated. Fuck you, Sal! I just want to get one track done.